fire tears through a house in Quincy, and tonight, several families have nowhere to live. It took firefighters hours to get those flames under control, and while they thought the fire roads were shut down, some neighbors had to be evacuated. Julie McDonald is in Quincy. She has more on the effort to keep that fire from spreading. Emergency responders are crediting the first of firefighters who pulled up here and quickly called for backup. They knew with this wind, one house fire had the potential to spread fast. The smoke was terrible. The house went up so fast. When Quincy firefighters pulled up to Winthrop Street Friday afternoon, flames were already tearing through the second and third floors of this multifamily home. Thankfully, all who lived there were already outside. I saw the mother was coming out with the little boy wrapped in a blanket, and the f husband was behind her. And then the um, grandfather that lives on the third floor had his two dogs, and he was there. Firefighters were told there could be ammunition inside the building and called their crews outside. With the asphalt siding, and the wind condition, it took off pretty quick. The guys did a good job. We protected the house next to it and uh, pretty much put the fire out from the outside. That husband suffered burns to his hands and was taken to Mass General. Investigators are looking into whether someone had been handling some type of battery before the fire began. It's a miracle what those firefighters did. You know what? You can replace houses but not kid people. So, And it's just a lousy time of year. Any time's a lousy time of year, but this, it's awful. Now, firefighters say this house is destroyed and they expect some water damage to the house next door. On social media, Good Samaritans are already organizing donations for the victims in this time of need. In Quincy, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.